Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning update. I'm Danny. And I'm Theo. Today is Frankenstein Friday, so let's pay respect to one of the most popular classic horror monsters in history. Hey, Danny, what if I reanimated your corpse? But I'm not dead. <laughs> not for long. What's that supposed to mean? Let's get on to today's announcements. Attention sophomores, get ready for the pep rally by buying a hoodie. Class of 2027 sweatshirts are on sale now. Scan the QR code and buy yours before October 27th. Don't miss out. And speaking of shirts, the class of 2026 is selling junior year t-shirts and powder puff t-shirts. The class of 26 shirts are $25 each and will be on sale until next Tuesday the 29th. The powder puff long sleeve shirts are $32 and are on sale until next Monday the 28th. Anyone can purchase them. You do not have to participate in the game to buy one of these shirts. Let your class officers know if you have any questions about either shirt. The Environmental Club's Fall Cleanup is next Saturday, November 2nd, and they need your help. It's right at Trinity, which is super close, and it's a great way to earn some community service hours while cleaning up our local area. The cleanup will be held from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. next Saturday. Contact the email below with any questions. Hope to see you there. What do you use to fix a gourd? A pumpkin patch. <laughs> the class of 2027 is hosting a Halloween movie night next Wednesday the 30th at 6.30 in the high school library. All are welcome, the event is free, and a suggested class donation is $10. Concessions will also be on sale during the movie, but it's cash only. Make sure you come. Attention everyone, the D&D &D Club is going to be meeting every week on Thursdays at 3 in Mr. Chadwick's room, 1210. If you have any interest in Dungeons and Dragons, please join them. No experience is necessary. Alright, I'm here with the school athlete player of the game, it's quarterback Drew Gustafson and running back Jack Fabiano. Jack, three touchdowns, over 100 yards, Gus, touchdown. Kind of completions. I mean, what we see out there? There they go. I was a little rocky in the first half, but I picked it up and played well in the second half. Jack had a great, great game with um, three tutties and Al had a tutty and we got a step to as well. And Jack, what do you see out there? Yeah, it was rough in the first half, maybe you know, hitting, but second half we came through and got more with the next week. Big game. Thank you. Are you realizing you might be addicted to social media and don't understand why? Well, a college student and psychology researcher at UNC at Chapel Hill is holding an online Zoom workshop which will explain how your brain reacts to social media, how algorithms are created to suck you in and hold your attention. If you feel like you want to learn more about how to create a balance between technology and human connection and feel more mentally healthy, come to the Zoom workshop. It will be on Thursday, November 7th at 7 p.m. If you have any questions or want to sign up, go to tritowncouncil.org slash events. Attention to anyone interested in psychology. The first meeting for the Return of Psychology Club is coming up next week on Monday, October 28th at 2.15. It will be in the middle school in Mr. Morris's room room 210 in the seven red hallway. Make sure you stop by to see what the club is all about. When you had a hard time managing day-to-day -day stress, Tritown Council will be holding a workshop to help teens in grades eight and up with identifying strategies to help manage signs of stress and depression. The workshop will be held on November 15th at the Emerson Center in Topsfield, where pizza and snacks will be served. Registration is required, so scan the QR code on the screen to sign up now. Listen up everyone, we've got huge news. Starting this week, WBMT is going online. Old school listeners can still tune into 88.3 FM, but now you can stream WBMT wherever you are in the world from the Masco website. Click on athletics and activities and then find WBMT in the drop down menu. We'll also put a link to their new website on nascomedia.org. Their redesigned website also has a feature that allows you to send in song requests to our DJs. And as always, listeners can still call in requests by dialing this phone number. You can listen anytime, but student broadcasts occur on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 3 to 5 p.m., and on Wednesdays from 1 to 5 p.m. Check it out. Four stores now 
open during en bloc on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You can buy items like a sweatshirt or a, a nice hat. Be mindful that only one student is allowed out of the class at the time, so you, you should be visiting quickly and returning back to your en bloc location. Thank you for your continued support. Attention French Club, bonjour. First up, all sign up forms are due soon, so make sure you are signing up for the club ASAP and get ready for a super fun meeting coming up on October 28th. We will be making and eating crepes, so don't miss it. The meeting will be in Madame Boucher's room after school on Monday the 28th. See you then. Welcome back to the Sports Update. I'm Charlie. And I'm Sam. And to kick things off this week, boys soccer won their game against Mystic Valley and girls won their game against Beverly. That's fantastic. Headed into playoff season. And field hockey played for number one spot in the NEC on Wednesday night, but unfortunately dropped it to Beverly. That's very unfortunate, but volleyball did manage to go one and one in the week. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And Masco Golf placed ninth in the state. That's unbelievable, That's huh? That's crazy. And then, guys, tonight there is a huge football game. Masco is playing at Piper Field in Marblehead for the NEC Championship. Whoever gets this is the number one spot in the NEC. And there is a fan bus leaving for the game, if you're like me and don't want to drive through Salem. So we will put the link here. And the bus leaves at 530, check-ins at 5, and it will be in downtown Topsfield. So you have to sign up because it's first come, first serve. There's also a girls' field hockey game in Danvers. Yeah, well, that's all for the Masco Sports Update. Thanks for update. watching. Hello, I'm here with the two field hockey captains. I'm Samantha, I'm a junior. I'm Mia, I'm a senior. How long have you guys been playing field hockey for? I've been playing since fourth grade. I've been playing since second grade. Great. And what's your guys' record this year? Uh, we're currently 12 and 4. That's great. And uh, what would you, what would like you say like some successes are, like to have such a winning record? Um, to always just push yourself and your teammates and to always just show up for each other. Awesome. What's your favorite thing about being a part of the field hockey team? Um, probably being a community, being a family, just awesome people and an awesome environment to be around. Great. Uh, what advice would you give to the younger generation of field hockey players for the future? Just don't give up and just push through the hard days, take them as encouragement and use your team to help you. Awesome. You heard it here. The YAAV invites you to a public speaking workshop to help students gain the confidence and skills to make a strong impression on their audiences. You will be taught by a representative from a social movement organization in Boston to get a practice you need to be a better communicator. Join them next Wednesday, October 30th at 1.30 for this really great opportunity. All you have to do is scan the QR code to sign up. There's a 30 person max, so do not make sure not miss out. Hello seniors, some important info for you to start the day. The last day for senior Halloween dance tickets is today, so make sure you buy them at lunch. And in a week, senior merch sales end. Buy stuff by scanning this QR code ASAP. Hey seniors, this week I am here with more college visits for you. Don't forget that if you want to see any of these schools, you must register through your Naviance account. Under colleges, then the college visits tab. Okay, here's the list for this week. Starting off on Monday, we have Salem State University and Simmons University, and then on Tuesday, we have Seton Hall University, Keene State College, and Dean College will be on campus. On Wednesday, Penn State Main Campus, St. John's University, New York, and Louisiana State University Agricultural Mechanical College and the College of Holy Cross will be around. There will be no visits next Thursday, so jumping to Friday, we have Miami University, Oxford, Landmark College, and Pace University. Okay, seniors, that's all I have got for you this week. Make sure to check in next week to see what colleges will be on campus. Good luck. Hi, and welcome back to Company Casting. My name is Abby, and I'm back interviewing the cast from the fall production of The Adams Family. Today we have two members. We have Avery, and we have Mercury. <laughs> Hi, Abby. Hey, how are you two doing today? I'm good. Good. Good? Good. Yeah. All right, so we are officially in tech week, but a week done with it, actually. So what has been your favorite part about this process, and what are you most looking forward to about completing this process? I think uh, my favorite part is 
um, probably the structure and rigidity of it. Yeah. You know, it's like um, mask of theater, especially it's like playing a varsity sport. Oh, you know? definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So we take it very seriously. And I think that seriousness um, helps contribute to the quality of our shows. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. Uh, I would say I really like getting to see the show with costumes for the first time. Mm. It's always so fun. But I always really look forward to the SITS Pro because I like being able to like see the band and hear them and it's like really cool. Yeah, I would agree. I, I think the SITS Pro is also. I love the SITS Pro. Yeah. And you two have fun characters. You know, it's your Fester, your Bugsley. Um, so what's your favorite part about playing those characters? I like that Fester gets to sing a ballad um, about the moon. That's true. Um, That's one of my favorite numbers, actually. It's, yeah. It's like mellow. It's kind of fun. Mm-hmm. It's, re- it's really cute. And um, I like how he's kind of like the, um, like the, if you've ever seen Into the Woods, he's yeah. kind of like the, the narrator of Into the Woods. Yeah, he's kind of like the, he talks to the audience. Yeah, he breaks up like Like, I love when he says, um, like, is this any way to end an act? Actually, Actually, yeah. it is. Yeah, I, I think that's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. It's very office style. Yeah, yeah. I would say I really like that I get to just pretend like I'm annoyed with everybody. <laughs> uh, it's, it's really, really fun to just pout the yes. entire time. It's a funny pout, too. Mm-hmm. And if you had to play any other character in the show, who would you pick? I think um, either Gomez, because he's, he's so, like, animated, and I love, like, playing high-energy animated characters. Yep. Or Lurch, because he's the complete <laughs> the opposite. complete opposite of it that. It is so funny, because... It, Lurch is like also kind of the backbone of the show. Yeah, he he just kind of stands there and he's just there, but like he's like the glue. You know what I mean? He really is. Yep. Mm-hmm. I would actually also say Lurch, <laughs> uh, but that is because I think it would be really funny if I was just on stilts. Yeah, because like, like I'm really short, so I think me playing Lurch on stilts would be very funny. I agree. So thank you two for being here today. And don't forget the Adams Family is November 1st and November 2nd. Ticket sales are now live on the Masco Theater Instagram page. Don't forget to buy yours. See you next time. Thank you. Well, that's all for the morning update. We're all through today's episode, so it's time to make good on my promise from earlier. I'm scared. Have a great weekend. Please help.